Welcome to Harpool Brewery right here in Windsor, Vermont. And if we're talking great companies in the area, we're talking about employee-owned companies. And we're going to be joined by one of our favorite guests, Hypertherm. I'm joined by Jack Lee. He's the business development officer there. And he's going to tell us how Hypertherm affects not only local charities through their wonderful support system, but they even helped Harpoon just recently. Thank you for joining us, Jack. Thank you for having me. So we already know, we've talked to Stacy quite a bit, Hypertherm is such an amazing influence on our community with your employee involvement. But what I didn't realize was because you're employee owned, you really helped Harpoon become employee owned as well. Yeah, I think there was some consultation that happened over the course of their journey as well. And there's been some really good partnership as they've followed that path uh, similar to ours. So a few years ago, Hypertherm became 100% associate owned, and that was part of a long 10 year journey. Right. And uh, similar to how King Arthur helped us along in that transition, another local uh, company that has gone down that path, uh, Hypertherm also engaged with Harpoon. And we paid it forward. We paid it forward. And there's been some other uh, interesting collaborative uh, things that have happened over the course of the last couple of years as well. And I think that's really amazing about businesses in the Upper Valley is the support that you lend to each other as businesses is really amazing. And our viewers might not realize, you know, these companies that we frequent all the time really do help each other out. It's a small community and, and uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of help we've gotten over the years um, and we like to pass that along to others. Uh, and that, that's evident in the philosophy of the company in many respects besides just that uh, the, the passing along of the ESOP learnings that we've had over the years. And another thing is, is, you know, Jack wears many hats. One of the things he does is he's the treasurer of the Hope Foundation here at Hypertherm, which means he's very much involved with their actually community mindedness. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that's another uh, aspect of Hypertherm that uh, is engaging for our entire associate population and myself in particular. Uh, we do support the local community and that's uh, been part of the company uh, since its inception mm -hmm. uh, 40 plus years ago now. Um, and there are a number of ways in which we support the community. One is through funding. So there's a, uh, there's a team within Hypertherm of 12 associates that make funding decisions, uh, sponsoring local nonprofits on an annual basis. And I think there's more than 100 uh, nonprofits that are sponsored on an annual, on annual basis. Um, and, uh, and we also uh, spend a lot of time volunteering out with the, within the community. Um, and it, most of the time is spent here in the Upper Valley. Uh, we've got some external associates and it's now expanding beyond uh, the Upper Valley into our acquisitions that we're making and we're building the culture there. Uh, but Hypertherm offers each associate currently three days of paid community service time off uh, to spend out helping local nonprofits. Uh, and we, we generate more than 80% of people using at least some of their That's community incredible. service time and about 18,000 hours are spent on an annual basis right now in the community. And that really says something about the culture of the community that you're trying to build. And really, employee owned, when you own something, you take better care of it. Right. You know, so seeing that you've taken that, not just in the terms of your business sense, but also of your community mindedness, you really believe like in giving back to the people, this is where you live. This right. is where you, you know, work. And um, I know that one of the places that you support is VINs, and we're going to get into that a little bit more later, but I've really been impressed with your ongoing efforts throughout the year to encourage employees to do work in the community. Yeah, and there's a number of ways in which we encourage uh, folks to do it. So it's not just an offer, a veil offer. Uh, there's, there, there's genuine encouragement for people to take the time. Uh, we do feel that it, it uh, enables associates to come back and be more productive and happy um, and longer term associates. And we generally hire to fit that culture uh, so that people are, are coming into the environment and feeling like they need to uh, go out and spend some time in the community and that is rewarding for them. Uh, and there's a number of ways in which we let people know about what's coming up. There's emails that go out, it's in the uh, monthly newsletter, um, and, uh, and, and folks are encouraged. And once the nonprofits understood that there was this resource available to them, mm -hmm. the nonprofits have come to us rather than us reaching out to them. So it's, it's actually come full circle, and, and uh, we have a lot of nice opportunities. The other aspect that's nice for Hypertherm about the community service time usage, we encourage people to go out in teams mm -hmm. and for uh, there to be leaders of those teams to gather associates to, to uh, go out and do a project. And that 
not only enables uh, team building, uh, it also enables people that wouldn't necessarily interact within the right. company to interact with each other. Um, but it also offers leadership um, uh, training, uh, sort of offline leadership training for folks on small projects to build a team, motivate them, and, uh, and come away with a job well done, hopefully at the end of the day. Well, I think Hypertherm's done a job well done for everyone of us here in the Upper Valley. And I want to encourage any of you to see what they do with their Hope Foundation. And we'd like to thank them for coming on and supporting Riverbrook Riley Chronicle for all these years.